On SNG Daily, here's a look at stories that are making headlines across the world. At least six judges of the Islamabad High Court have asked the Supreme Court of Pakistan to intervene to stop what they call the interference of the ISI in judicial matters. They have written a letter to the Apex Court to set up a judicial council to look into their concerns. The letter comes just days after a High Court judge, Shokat Aziz Siddiqui's removal, was deemed illegal by the Supreme Court. Justice Siddiqui had publicly accused the ISI of interfering in judicial proceedings. China's President Xi Jinping met with US executives at the Great Hall of the People in Beijing in what Bloomberg reports was a last-minute meeting. Many are seeing this as a confidence-building measure that comes when the Chinese economy is facing major challenges. The last time she met US executives was in November 2023 at a dinner in San Francisco after the APEC summit. Many top executives were already in China for the China Development Forum that took place on March 24 and 25. The highly choreographed meeting included Evan Greenberg, CEO of the US insurance company Chubb, Stephen Orlins, President of the National Committee on U.S.-China Relations and President of the U.S.-China Business Council, Craig Allen. Thailand has taken a major step towards legalizing same-sex marriages. The landmark legislation cleared the lower house of parliament, moving Thailand a step closer to becoming the third Asian nation to give legal backing to same-sex unions. A majority of political parties supported the legislation that will now head to the Senate for endorsement. The legislation has been a work in progress for a decade and requires the King's approval before it can become law. Nepal and Taiwan are the only two Asian nations to recognize same-sex marriages. Vessel traffic in and out of Baltimore port has been suspended until further notice, as President Biden has said the collision was an accident. Personnel on board the ship were able to alert the Maryland Department of Transportation that they had lost control of their vessel, as you all know and reported. As a result, local authorities were able to close the bridge to traffic before the bridge was struck, which undoubtedly saved lives. A container vessel heading to Colombo hit the Francis Scott Key Bridge after it lost control of the ship around 1.28 a.m. on March 26. Six workers who were fixing potholes on the bridge and fell into the river are presumed to be dead. From make America great again to make America pray again, Donald Trump is now hoping for some divine intervention. It's not that he's suddenly turned religious, but it's his attempt to shore up some funds as he faces a major cash crunch, especially with his legal bills mounting. He took to his truth social platform to urge his supporters to buy the God Bless the USA Bible inspired by country singer Lee Greenwood's patriotic ballad ahead of the Easter weekend. For more such videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the like button and follow for more.